Yes, y'all, y'all, y'all wish y'all been at a church now to, to know how, when I'm coming from to give God the praise. You don't need to wait until God do it. I got to say it all the time. I say it on my job. I say it to clients. I say it to people. You don't have to wait until God do the work to give him a praise. You got to know how to praise him in the process. You got to know how to praise him while you're going through. You got to know how to praise him and thank God and count the joy. Because the Bible said that everything counted the joy. Y'all be saying that the, when you go going through trials and tribulation, count it all joy. What that means, preacher? That means give me the praise. Give me the glory. Give me the honor. Why are you in the process of going through? Give me a praise. That's all for my people. Oh, uh, y'all, he said, Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter, 14th verse. He said, If my people. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Y'all yeah, yeah, ain't catching this. Yeah. He said, If my people. Let me get there real quick. Uh, I, I, feel, I, I feel that this, I want to quote the scripture wrong. I want to quote the scripture wrong because a lot of people, preachers, watch this. They will quote the scripture, but they won't say it right. So I learned, I tell the people here, I say, when you when you follow the preachers, make sure you have your word with you. Because nowadays people quote the scripture today and, and, and they quote the right. Amen. Amen. You miss one word out of that scripture. Everything be messed up. Amen. Amen. That's why you got to be very sure. That you know for yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Y'all still with me? Yes, sir. Here we go. Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter. He said in the fourteen verses, "If my people, which are called by my name." Shall humble themselves and what? Pray. Somebody say pray. Pray. And seek my face. Whose face? God's. He never said the pastor. He never said the bishop. He never said these title pastors. He said, seek whose face? Mine. I'm still talking about the anointing. Yes. He said, seek. These are the anointed people. You just want to be so humble in God. Amen. Amen. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from where? Their wicked ways. It's a shame that church folk got some wicked ways. I'm going to say this again because y'all ain't catching this. It's a shame that the church folks got some wicked ways. They do one thing and do it another. Mm -hmm. come on, come on. They speak Holy Ghost and curse on the side. Yes. All right. Come on, somebody. All right. Amen. They, they speak in tongues and do all kinds of things to other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Church hypocrites, yes. they pay with God. They, they don't fear God no more. When we came up, we used to fear God. We fear playing in church. We fear eating in the church. We fear sleeping in the church. Now young people don't even care. They come to church just to come, just to get out the house. How they say to get out the crib. So it said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. Let me tell y'all something. Because I'm a pastor, does not mean I'm completely delivered. Oh, y'all didn't catch it. Y'all ain't catch it. I'm going to say it again. I'm, can I make it down to Camden, New Jersey? Because I'm the pastor does not mean I'm completely delivered. There are some stuff in me that I need God to do. Yes. There are some stuff in you that you need God to do. There are some times I feel like slipping somewhere. Oh, there are some times I feel like saying stuff. Oh, y'all ain't catching. But now, because God has the Holy Ghost step in. The Holy Ghost will keep you from saying what you don't supposed to be saying. Yes. Come on. Amen. Uh, let, me, let me get here. I'm teaching this. I feel good. I feel, I feel good. I feel this here. Then he says, he says, from the wicked ways, and I will hear from who? Heaven. And will forgive their sins and will heal 
their land. Each and every one here has a land. We have a place, we have a home that needs to be healed. We got family members that needs to be healed. And I come to let you know because we got some disease in our family that needs to be healed. And I'm not talking about HIV, I'm not talking about cancer, I'm talking about a spiritual thing. We got some stuff that people are doing. When you look at Camden, New Jersey, you're looking at how people are prostituting. That's a disease. Alcohol, that's a disease. Come on, somebody, drugs, that's a disease. And we up there judging them, talking about they need to be ashamed of themselves. They need to stop doing that on Paul. They need to stop drinking. They need to, listen, instead of you talking about them, you need to just pray for them. Yes. Show love, love and kindness. No, let me finish this up. Back to Isaiah. He says, he says, we say these words. Isaiah, no, back to Job. I'm sorry. Job, now here's, here's the snare to the part of the process. Why Job was so anointed? Why did he get better than he ever had? Because the last chapter, Job said that he had a conversation. He said, though the Lord did all this to me, though he slay me, but yet I will trust him. The good Lord giveth, and the good Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sweetheart, everything that you went through, everything you're going through is for your good. Why? Because God is trying to get everybody's attention that God be going through. He don't want your attention to be pity. He wants your attention to be advising. Come on, somebody. You got to talk faith. You got to speak faith. You got to look faith. You got to dress yes. to the point. I don't care. You're in a hotel. You got to look sharp. Come on, somebody. When you go to a job interview, you got to look sharp. When you go to church, you got to look sharp. Come on, somebody. When you go to work, you got to smell good like you're a royal queen and a royal king. Come on, somebody. Because God wants us to look and represent him. Because everybody here is kings and queens under the presence of God. Can I get a witness in here? So the Bible says, watch this, I'm getting back to Job and I'm closing up here. The Bible says that Job had went through everything that he went through. He suffered too much. He lost his children, I've been there. He lost his possession, I've been there. How you been there, pastor? Because I had a son that passed nine years ago. Yes. But to God be the glory. I know where he is. He's in the kingdom of kings. Y'all ain't saying nothing. If he had a choice, I know he would not want to look back down here. But when I what a time, what a time when I see that me and my son could be able to rejoice in the name of the Lord. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Job lost his possession. I lost my repo. I got my car, God. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I gave up my Christ. I gave up the home. It was stolen from him. But to God be the glory. I'm still here. I got my health. I got my strength. I got enough breath to give God the praise. Because the Bible says that weeping may do it for a moment, but Joy comes in the morning. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, no, we how many really, really, truly can stand right there and say, I'm going through something right now? But guarantee yourself that God's about to bring me out. Look at your name, say, After all that I've been through, I'm still about to come out of this. Oh, you always say that. I can remember about two, three weeks ago, a preacher came all the way from Nook. She looked at me and said, Pastor, I don't care what you're going through. God's about to see you out of this. That means God. Is about to trouble the wood. Yeah. God's uh, about to suffer the wood. Uh, that means why are you going through? Uh, learn how to praise me. Uh, learn how to lift me up. Uh, learn how to give me a joy. Uh, don't give up. Uh, don't go in the top. Uh, yeah. That's when you just lost your miracle. You just lost your blessing. It may seem hard sometimes, but I come to let you know, beloved. Joe, hold on just a little bit longer. Look at your name and say, neighbor, hold on just a little bit longer. Help is on the way. Patch, preacher, hold on. God's going to fill this house. Hold on. Just a little bit long. Don't give up. Don't throw in. Don't turn your back. Don't pat like the nose. So just know that you know that you know who you serve. Because I'm anointed. I know I got hate. So because I'm anointed. Yeah. 
back. I know that God got my back because I'm anointed. I know they're talking about me like a dog, but to God be the Say Lord. It. Thank God for the talk. Thank God for the status. Thank God for the haters. Thank God for the least. Thank God Almighty. I feel like preaching out. Thank God Almighty. When I went into my child and I look at the book, we had a discussion at the end of the day. Everyone got 300 on Monday. 390 people. And then we're going to say there might be a time we might come in and some might get laid off. And I'm beginning to say, go on. You got my back. Oh, you promised me oh, you would take good, good, good care of me. You never forsake me. You never turn your back against me. I stand this far. Look at your neighbor. As your neighbor, I came too far because I'm anointed, because of my presence and my relationship.
love Kirk, I love all them other days. But baby, something about the old songs that moves you. When you when we came up in the old mode, see when we came up in the old school, it was the old song that got us old. It was the old song that made us old. We used to say so how we made it old. Nobody but the presence of God. Y'all been saying nothing. Then when we was going through, we used to say, so I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Can I get a witness to him? Yeah. Y'all don't know about them old songs. All y'all know about Kirk, Todd Trimmon, and all that. Yeah. But one song that ties to him from the old school, he said, the all that I've been through, I still look at your neighbor.
there. Judges, man. Yo, yo, if you can understand, those who's watching this video, if you see my YouTube, we got a gentleman, put on the little quick. We have a gentleman that served the war. And still alive. Come on, somebody. And he's still here. To God be the glory. I'm not trying to put him on the spot, but the Bible said give honor where honor is. So I want to say thank you, man. How many enjoy the word? Look at your neighbor say, I'm still anointed. I'm still anointed. Look at him again say, I'm still anointed. I'm still anointed. One more time, tell him, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. Look at him and say, you are anointed. You are anointed. Tell him, you are definitely anointed. You are definitely anointed. And God's eyes say, you don't have to worry about nobody. Next time somebody talk about you, tell him, you are anointed. Yes. When they stand out loud, tell him, you, you are anointed. Tell them about time to pick in. Woman of God, tell them your children's anointed. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let me tell you something. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, I want this, this is good. Sometimes. My wife was saying this morning, sometimes we had to get into a good boat mm -hmm. so we could draw people to the house of God. Amen. And it seemed like since we've been at the motel, Joel did nothing but witness to more people. Come on, somebody. Amen. And look who came to church. Then a friend from her school, supposedly came, just text me on my phone and tell her I'm sorry to miss church, but I'll be there next Saturday. Y'all ain't said it. It's God promise to fill this house. Come on, somebody. You have to be sincere. God is going to send more young people in this household. And not only young people, but older people, middle people. Come on. Church mother. Come on, somebody. For the last for a couple months, I've been telling somebody, been fighting church, we coming. They never gave us a time. They never gave us a day. We coming. We coming, we coming, we coming, we coming. Then my ears start falling off. We coming. But he, they didn't say I'm convinced, we coming. See, I love it because they do things together. We coming. But the thing is, they're here today. I told her, I said, Miss Moore, I need a church mother. She said, you got one. I said, where? I said, I'll be your church mother. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you, young people. Church mother keeps the young people on pews and cues. All right. All right. What the pastor can't do, the church mothers can do. Yes, Lord. How you like those apples? All right. Amen. Amen. Because the fact is, we need a church mother to be an example. Looking good, smelling good, dressed, look decent. Because now these church mothers are dead. Showing too much cleavage, wearing short skirts. Come on, somebody. Amen. And I'm not mad because some of the fact that ready, you got to care of yourself. That's right. Amen. Never know this young lady might be look, be our nurse, but it might be an usher. That's right. We need ushers. Yes, Lord. We need more praise dancers. Yes. Come on, somebody, choir Amen. director. Amen. And God is not looking for how good you can sing. That's right. God is looking for the. Oh. Yes. Because what you do for Christ will last. I'm going to pray for somebody. Give, come on, clap your hands. I just want to pray. I want to pray for you. Glory to God. Shh. Amen. You can stand right there. You can come up. It's up to you. And, uh, play something soft.
Okay. 